is up you guys it's your girl sassy princess and i am back once again with another video in today's video before we get into this video i just want to say that there has been a lot of stuff going on ever since i started school so i really have not been focusing on these videos and to be honest with you to be completely honest with you guys i have completely lost motivation to do these videos because I don't know I just feel like I don't know if you guys are into it or you guys are entertained with it and you know I feel like I'm not really doing my job here on this channel with you guys so that's basically how I've been feeling I've been feeling a little depressed lately and everything I'm trying to snap out of it and get back to the my lovable self but it's just difficult that it's hard for me to feel so motivated when I feel so low you know what I'm saying I don't I don't know y'all I really don't know but I'm trying to come back happy Labor Day to you guys stay warm stay out the heat I know it might be hot today but without further ado let's last talk video I is being brought up to my attention over the weekend that one of my favorite youtubers had reacted to this video about this lady who have physically and so quote unquote emotionally changed herself to be a black person mind you a black female so the title of this last talk video is called stop making a mockery out of black people so let me give y'all a synopsis of how the video went down. So her government name. And before I get into this video, trigger warning because there might be some things said. I don't want nobody to get offended. So there is this lady and she was being interviewed by this newscaster. There were two of them. And they were interviewing her about her transitioning to being a black woman. So Basically, in the interview, they were asking her questions about, you know, her process and what did it take to get to that moment of her appearance. And so, mind you, I'm going to put a clip in here so you guys can get a visual of what I'm saying. So, basically, the lady was telling them how, you know, one, she's not originally black. She's from probably another country. According to her accent, she looks like she's from another country. She sounds like a two, which you guys will see when I play the clip. But basically, she was saying how, you know, she didn't feel right being who she was. She felt like she always knew that she was a black woman, which is strange to me because it's just like, how you know you are a black woman when you never went through the struggles of being black or being a black woman period you know other women from other cultures and race have you know experiences too i know that i know women in as a whole go through a lot of struggles but particularly black women go through extremely amount of that as well so mind you she was telling them how, oh, she felt like she wasn't, you know, the woman that she was. She felt like she always was a black woman. And then she tells them how she tries to go out in the sun to get this tan where she's trying to basically tan herself to be transitioning into a black woman. So my thing is, why are you going out in a tan? trying to get a tan to try to be a black woman let that sink in to y'all I, I want I want somebody to let that sink in because I'm trying to understand how is that helping your case like explain so and they start asking her other questions and then um, about her procedures and processes so this lady tells them how mind you I'm gonna play the clip she tells them how oh I got I believe 13 injections 13 injections y'all 13 she said on her face her chest 
her butt area her she changed her skin man i think she i forget what's the word she used but i think she bleached her skin or whatever and mind you she was saying how she got 13 injections but she got 13 not th not 13 three surgeries so i'm like are you kidding me right now you got three surgeries 13 injections for what and mind you i know people are gonna say well that's her preference that's her body i get that but this is where it's gonna blow y'all man about what i'm about to say next and they asked her why so many injections why so many procedures this that, and the third so this is her reasons right her reasons is she wanted to look like look and feel like a black woman and she clearly says and i quote she says that you know she perceives black women to look how she looked after the doctor got done with the procedures mind you this lady i'm not trying to go on nobody's appearance because that y'all know me i'm not big on appearance like that but this lady first of all her hair texture is just is outrageous and put it like that then she barely can speak because of all the injections in her face right then on top of that when you look at her body like her torso her chest is like out here y'all mind you i don't like talking about nobody but i'm trying to get y'all visual synopsis before i play the clip so her chest is like all out here or whatever and then she was talking about how you know her butt is like all out there mind you and when y'all see her previous picture that is pretty much how she looked except for the skin and everything else and her neck area is weird but my thing is she continuously to tell them that oh i want to feel how a black woman feels i want to look how a black woman look now my is how are you going to feel how a black woman feels and look how a black woman look if you have not experienced the hardships that black women and black people experience like i don't understand it you described yourself back then as a beautiful girl so if you did a, if you were a beautiful girl why do this yeah i liked my body from the beginning and to know every step but um like the boys like their brand new car they love to work on it and if they see wow nice results let's find this piece and this piece and so tuning is a little bit more than this well, a, work in progress. a lot of work going a lot of body work going on that's for sure 24 procedures what uh, what aside from the obvious what have you had done also when we last met i um was uh, much smaller as well. actual i have 7100 cc each but not only my skin color changed also in meanwhile also i've realized that my eye color has changed my eyebrow color has changed and also my regrowing hairs are more black and more darker and going curly so we should, we should ex that's absolutely fine but you have stepped in, into the realms of controversy by saying that you now identify as black now what do you mean by that yeah not only my whole body uh, not only the appearance changed also my feelings and my um, beauty idols for example a little bit after when I met you I was in a swimming pool with a lot of white people and some came just came from the tanning bed with a little, little bit medium tan but when I saw them wow it's going to be strange they're all so pale and yeah this medicine that, is that, that, I really get that. Really I, good. I understand mm. that people will obviously they're going to react but it, it, it's the fact that you say you identify as black uh, I don't want to fight the black people I do it for myself it is not a media attention I'm just um, talk with them who want to talk with me because also I'm really proud that this medicine works for me so well and I can feel in myself that I'm changing to a black woman are trying 
to be a part of the black culture or trying to be have this so quote unquote black accent. They're trying to do all the things that us as black people have in, put into our culture but they don't want to take the hardships that comes with those experiences and then she continuously tells them that oh she started changing she felt like she's starting to sculpt herself into a black woman a black person and i'm just like how is that how how is that even possible how are you trying to mold yourself into a black person and you wasn't even born as a black person like i'm not understanding let alone born as a black woman like a black female and it's just like this is the reason why you know i don't understand why people feel like it's okay to mock the black culture it's okay to mock what we look like to mock our struggles and she was saying how oh she admired them and i'm just like but when you transition and change yourself to quote unquote look like them you being offensive and there was a lot of people under that video who found it very offensive because she was saying how this is how she perceives that black women looks like and i'm just like first of all black women don't look like this first second of all black women come in all shades all sizes all hair textures okay they we come in all things and it's just like how dare you do this like it's okay it's your body it's your preference but what you're not gonna do you're not gonna sit up here and say all black women look like this and you got people other people saying well maybe she never seen a black person before and i'm just like i know there's not that many of us but i'm pretty sure you probably seen them even if you google them research obviously she didn't research and then then the part that got me this lady proceeds to say how oh well because of my I'm, I feel like I'm changing I'm going to start visiting countries in Africa that's what she said she said she's gonna start visiting countries in Africa to better and sculpt her on the history of being a black person a black woman. let that sink into y'all I'm just like are she is she dead ass she for real mind you I thought that she was a troll I thought she was trolling because you know you got some people out there who do these crazy things to get attention and actually that's what the newscasters were saying. They were like, well, maybe you trying to get attention and you trying to make a name out there for yourself because all black people don't look like this. All black women don't look like this. And she was saying that, no, she's not trying to get attention. She's just trying to show the world who she is. Why can't you just show the world who you are without you transitioning to, quote, unquote, being a black woman? Why you couldn't just do that? she looked it fine the way she was see this is my problem when people having identity crisis now y'all y'all know i had that video a couple a month ago and it's just like that video has blown up a little bit but it's just like i'm trying to understand why people are not comfortable and happy in the skin of the end you're beautiful the way you are I don't, i'm not understanding why people feel like they got to change themselves just to fit a culture just to fit like somebody else don't be a follower be a leader be unique be an individual that someone will look up to an individual that can add positivity to this world i'm not understanding why people do not want to be themselves yes sometimes being yourself is hard but that's what happens when you show the world who you are like I, me personally I don't like to follow the in crowd. Y'all know that. Maybe y'all don't know. I don't like to follow the in crowd because I feel like following following the in crowd is gonna lead you to a lot of hardships, and you ain't gonna need that. You don't need the hardship when you could just be yourself and follow your dreams, follow your aspirations, follow what you want to do, not what society tells you to do. And she, and then they asked her. I'm getting off topic because that 
I need to say that. Then they asked her, you know, why don't you just stay how you was? And she was like, oh, I never liked who I am. I never appreciate, not appreciate, I never cared for who I was. And I'm just like, what made you think people are going to care about you now? If people didn't care for you then, what make you think they're going to care for you now? I know that sounds harsh, but it's just like, why would you change yourself to look like a certain culture or a certain group of people? This is not acceptable, and I'm not understanding why people think this is okay. Like I said, I get it. It's her preference. It's her body. But when you start mocking that culture, then that's when people think that you getting offensive because we ain't living in a day and time where people are very sensitive sensitive to everything and you can't do and say certain stuff yes I get it it's a free country we do and say what we want but some things are better left off the internet it just is because social media is dominating everything right now at that time and then we still have this color division going on and they really didn't talk about that with her, but y'all y'all see my response. So let me know what you guys think about this topic down below in the comment section. If you guys are new here, welcome my loves. I am Sassy Princess V. I'm trying to post these four days out the week, but it's difficult. And I just want y'all to know I didn't forget about y'all. I just lost complete motivation on filming, doing videos because of this power outage problem that I'm having I wish I understood um, but I'm trying to post more and be more motivated to get these videos out there because I know people are not talking about this I will have a link to the video down below in the description box and also I'm gonna still show you guys a clip on what this was probably in the middle of the video so you guys can see what I'm talking about so if you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe down below and make sure you guys turn on your notifications so you not miss another video from me. And I shall catch y'all in the next video. Bye, my size family.